hi villagers welcome back to the village if you are new hello welcome i'm kai and today we're going to be discussing dlc 15 and what is to come of it but before we get started please do sub to the channel if you are new or maybe not you've been watching us for a little bit today is your day but also huge thanks to our elite villagers our elite army is slowly growing if you want to become an elite village today you're more than welcome to do so i'm getting some emotes commissioned so we're gonna have some more emotes to use along with access to past live streams a special role in our discord and of course shout outs in some of our videos so if you want to become an elite villager support the channel you're more than welcome but let's get into the discussion so with dlc 15 now on the horizon after passing dlc 14 the question is what are we gonna get I feel fairly confident in saying we're most definitely getting superhero content. There's, there's just no way we're not at this point. But I think there's a potential free update on the way as well. Now, we have the Breakers coming out October 14th. I did make a video, like literally, it was like 30 minutes before they put out the official information. But anyway, they, they are coming out with the Breakers October 14th, 2022. Um, which is not that far away. We're having a closed beta coming up as well. But with that, I think that we could see a collaboration between Xenoverse and the Breakers. This is common knowledge at this point. If you aren't aware, there is a lot of stuff already in the files of the game. For we have, for example, we have the character Semi Perfect Cell in the files of the game. And we have a new event. We have Oolong that's supposed to be in the game. So with that in mind, right? There's no way, I, I don't see DLC 15 being a Breakers collab, because especially with DLC 15 probably not coming out till either early 2023 or December or maybe even November of 2022. So I personally believe there will be a free collaboration going on between the Breakers and Xenoverse where possibly we can get these middle forms of characters that we're missing in the game currently. So the... The reason why I'm saying that is recently in the Breakers trailer where they showed Frieza gameplay, we actually got to see uh, second form Frieza and third form Frieza, which are both characters we do not currently have in Xenoverse. So with the idea of semi Perfect Cell being a possible character we can also get, especially with him being in the game files, I think there's a pretty solid chance we could get them as free update characters. Now, obviously, I'm not guaranteeing this. There's no way I could. I don't work at Bandai, whatever, Dimps. But at the very least, I think we could definitely get semi Perfect Cell. It would be a shame. It would be so horrible on their part if they have this guy ready to go. He doesn't have any new moves or anything. You know, I don't even care if he doesn't have any new moves. Just he's he's in the game and they don't let us play as him. That's just that's just messed up at that rate it's like it's not hard for them to do this they already have freezes moves they already have cells moves so i think that re like a really good promotional thing they could do is give us these middle forms that we're missing and give them to us for free you know like it, en enough's enough with these main villains especially i don't know why they wouldn't have added semi-perfect cell because for me at least in the cell saga seeing semi perfect cell and how strong he was and then you see vegeta rock his world they're just sewing the immense power up between the before the hyperbolic time chamber and after for vegeta and trunks you know what i mean like i feel like that was a very important moment in the story to then have him go perfect cell and show how much of a difference there now is between perfect cell and super vegeta like i feel like like semi perfect cell is very important and he's not in the game, you know, maybe people don't think he's as hype or whatever, but it's not even like it would be hard for them to put them in the game. He's literally in the game files now. So I feel like if they gave us this character, you know, don't give him any new moves, whatever, fine. Make him free, call it part of the Breakers collaboration, and then possibly even give us, you know, uh, third form and second form Frieza as free. I'm, I'm good. I'm good, Xenoverse. Props to you. Because that's a really good move on your part. Do I think they're going to do that? I don't know if they give us three characters for free, to be honest, guys. But we can hope. <laughs> we can hope. Uh, I definitely think that... I don't think Sammy Perfect Cell is going to be DLC 15. I think they're going to make it exclusively superhero content. Um, I don't think, like, these other forms... Like, I feel like it'd be... A, like, I don't know. I feel like it'd be, they'd be taking slots away from characters from superhero. Uh, DLC 15, perfect scenario for me is if we have Gamma 1, Gamma 2, uh, New Form Piccolo, New Form Gohan. You know, that that's that's what I want. Because I think that would just be the best option, honestly. I don't think there's really anything else I want. 
uh maybe sell max i don't know how they do that have fun with that bandai uh because <laughs> they don't like doing giant characters in xenoverse so maybe they could try doing something with him but otherwise those are the four characters i want i want a four character dlc for this deal for this movie i think it deserves it um we got a four character dlc for dlc 13 i think we can get it again especially with the stage we're in for this game Xenoverse 3 is on the horizon, guys. I know a lot of you guys are still against it and don't think it's happening, but, but just wait. Just wait. And then remember this, too. When Xenoverse 3 does come, you already know. Rio Moore is going to hit 100K. All right? I know you. <laughs> That's 100 times where we're at right now, but just y'all wait. Just y'all wait. I'm on the Xenoverse 3 hype train, and I am certainly going to be making some more videos for Xenoverse 3. I know this one's a shorter discussion, but I just wanted to kind of put this out there. You know, um, we're definitely going to be talking about the breakers at some point. When the game comes out, I'll probably do a video here or there. And then also, if I get into the beta, I'll make a video or maybe just stream it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap up everything I have to say. With that though, I'm Kai. Peace.